I don't think that's G. This week's recap, we're just looking at uh, the kind of the rhythms of prayer as a church, and we, we engaged in praying together, and I hope for you that you understood that the Lord's Prayer, the one thing I want you to come away with is that the Lord's Prayer in Luke, it's a little shorter in Luke than it is in Matthew, but it's a structure of prayer. It's it's like um, it's like building kind of like... Um, having a walk-in closet and putting like a closet unit in it. It has all the, the drawers and the curtain rods and everything in the shelves. And it looks great. And that's a great structure to do what? To put your clothing in and get everything organized to, to fill up. The Lord's Prayer is like that structure. You come and you fill it up. You use that structure to praise God, to confess, to invite him to bring your kingdom, his kingdom to bear in your life and to, and to bring the kingdom of God through you into this world. So I invite you to be a person who prays, talking to God as Jesus invited us to, as Abba, as our dad, as our heavenly father, who we can run and jump in his arms and just talk to him. And hopefully for you and for I, our prayer life takes on a conversational tone and a less of a religious structure. It has, well, exactly what Jesus intended, a model of prayer that engages in relationship, not religion. I hope you enjoy having a week maybe that's a little more focused on prayer and the conversations you're having with God. All right, kids, we got some questions for you today. When Jesus taught the disciples to pray, do you think he meant say these exact words every time or that this is a guide to help you know how to pray? Question two, do you think God is like overwhelmed when everyone is praying to him? Question three, do you ever do popcorn prayers? I know that children like music, so I thought I would sing you a goodbye. And thank you, thank you for coming to groups. Hope it was awesome. I only can play E minor and G, and I kind of lost G, so it's going to be a little bit of a minor tune, but um, yeah. Hope you kids had a great time in groups. I hope you have fun going to do what you're about to do. Hopefully, uh, you get to play with your friends now. Oh. See you later. I'm going to go with a much more indie look. I got some questions for you. Sure. Yeah. Well, uh, were you surprised? Question one, were you surprised that the disciples asked Jesus to teach them how to pray? Question two. In Luke 18, 17, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, if anyone, whoever will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. What did he mean by receiving the kingdom of God like a little child? Question three. How did Jesus begin his prayer in verse two? Question four, and this is where it gets a little more personal. What is the daily bread that you need? Being tempted is not a sin. Jesus was tempted, and yet he didn't sin. Do you ever feel guilty for being tempted?
Question six, how is repenting of your sins different than feeling sorry? What do verses 5 through 13 speak to your heart about God and your relationship with him? My senorita comes to the stage. I ate one of those kind bars because I was like, a little bit of sugar might help me. Oh, shh. Did you? I sounded like the groundhog on Disney. Hey, you kids. Stand back. All right, community question. This one fits in perfectly. Why don't we say the Lord's Prayer every week? Funny, you should ask. Because... The Lord's Prayer is, first of all, it's amazing and it's wonderful, it's great, but it is a model of prayer. It is a guideline to a more full prayer life, but it isn't the exhaustive prayer that we should be praying. It is not something we should just know and repeat by memory. Um, It is something that we should uh, use to fill our prayer life. Remember, like I said, kind of that that closet organizer. If it's all empty, though it may look beautiful, it's not fulfilling its purpose if we're not putting things in it and filling it up with things that matter to you or I personally. And hopefully as we grow in God, things that matter to the heart of God, we begin to pray back to God the things he desires. So we believe that Jesus taught us to pray with the Lord's Prayer. We have taught on this before, and we did it again today or you know, at the foundry here this week, um, we feel, I believe, that if we just repeat the same words every week, people will misunderstand what prayer is. It is not a special verse with some magical power to say the Lord's Prayer. We have encountered people, I have encountered people a number of times, who've only ever prayed the Lord's Prayer. They've never said prayers beyond that. And, um, they didn't know that that it was a model that would invite them to pray more deeply and personally connected to God. It is a model for prayer. And we don't want you to think that just saying the model is the way we pray. It's the way we engage in a more full prayer life by knowing the structure and using it to connect in relationship with God. We want to teach people to have a real relationship with God, not check religious boxes by saying exactly you know, this prayer without anything in it that makes it personal or relational connected to God from us. Um, Yeah, I hope you understand. We love the Lord's Prayer as a model for prayer. Jesus was teaching them to pray with a more full prayer life. The, The second thing is, is how can the rest of the church body find out about prayer requests One of the great things, we've got a prayer ministry that's really taking off here, and we are sending out prayer requests as they come into a prayer team, but there's also these prayer boards. They went up this past weekend, and they have these little kind of squares like that, and we are inviting people this weekend, roll up your prayer request and tuck it into one of those squares as you leave. And as you leave and tuck one in, you can reach out and take a prayer request. And this way, you give a prayer request and you take a prayer request. People get to pray over you who maybe don't even know you, but we know this, that God knows you and he loves you and he would love for the church to be praying for you. So if you'd like prayer, you can leave a prayer request on the prayer walls and you can take one as well and be praying for the church. If you'd like to know more about how to be on the official kind of prayer list where we send out prayer needs to the church, you can write that on your connection cards, and we'd love to get you involved in that ministry. At this point, that's uh, the questions we had. Um, Yeah, at this point, that's all the questions we had for this week. So we hope you're having a great time with groups and have a blessed week. Thank you for um, engaging in the group's material, being part of that rooted weekly rhythm where we walk, sit, and stand together. Grace, peace, and God's best to you as you engage in the life of the church and being the church and advancing the kingdom of God.